Zero's much anticipated auto pay feature has been released and I'm going to take you through how to do that real quick. And in order to do that, you have to create a new repeating invoice, or I believe you can probably add this onto one of your existing invoices. So we're just going to go and quickly create an invoice. We're going to keep it with today's date because we want to generate the invoice and we'll send that to myself here. And we'll just put in here some information to complete the invoice. And all the information is in there. And so the only thing not on there is the auto pay request. So it, you notice it's not there, but as soon as we click approve for sending, it's going to pop up and allow you to offer off auto pay. So we'll go ahead and click on that and you'll notice we now have the button up here saying that auto pay has been offered. And what we need to do is save this. And once we click save, we're going to get a pop up asking us to confirm the email. So you can change the email just like you can with any other repeating invoice and have it set to send to the client or whoever's going to pay the invoice. You can see here's the auto pay information right there and you can go ahead and click save. Now this email is not going to go out for this because the invoice is dated today. It always needs to be dated in the future for it to auto be to be auto sent out through zero. So that's one of those things you got to keep in mind. So if you're going to send this out to your client, you have to manually send the email on the invoice that's created when you do that today when it's not in the future. So I'm just going to go ahead and click save and that's going to save that right there for me. And once it's saved, you come out to the invoice dashboard and I'm in the repeating tab and you can see here's the invoice I created and it's just sitting there waiting to be, have that auto pay accepted and we'll go through that process now. So here's the invoice in Zero that was created from that repeating template. And I'm just gonna save some time here, go to invoice options and click on share invoice. That gives us a link directly to the invoice that the client is going to see when they get their email and they click on it. So I'm just gonna click on that. And as you can see, there's this new section at the top to set up auto pay. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And basically you fill out the information here. It's got all the information except the card information from the account that's already on file. And the payer has to click the authorization here to set up auto pay and allow their invoices to be auto paid and then click the pay button. So once the payment's been made, you get the pop-up that says the invoice has been paid and you've successfully set up auto pay. So that's the entire process to pay it. So it's not much different than just to pay a regular invoice, except now they're going to automatically get paid. From the company side, the company gets a message in Zero from their notification. See, it's right there that Jay Kimmelman has set up auto pay and gives you all the information regarding that. So that's great. And then from there, back at the repeating invoice dashboard, you can see the auto pay offered has changed to auto pay active. So that has taken care of that. You can see that at a glance when you're looking at your repeating invoices, which ones have auto pay set up, which are offered and which do not have it at all. So overall, it works really, really well. And thanks, Zero, for getting this set up. And so there's your quick tutorial on the Zero Auto Pay feature.